And you know, the guy, and we'll get right into the punk stuff because this is going to relate to my punk discussion. The guy uh, I feel sorry for right now is Ricky Starks. Because the whole reason they had his suspension, storyline suspension on Collision, was to keep him off all in. And he was supposed to, according to Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful, he was supposed to be the main event on All Out against CM Punk for the real world championship this Sunday. And now who knows if he's even going to be on the card. Yeah. Hopefully they can find something for him, but I mean, you're not going to get Jack Perry. You're not going to get Ricky Starks. It's. And I think that's why we're only currently sitting at eight matches is because TK is going, all right, what do we do? Got to figure some stuff out. That was yeah. planned now. And uh, yeah, I can't set this match up at collision. Like I wanted to. Here's my whole thing with the punk. I mean, it, it's once again, the backstage drama is overshadowing a great pay-per-view the most historic pay-per-view aw's ever done and i don't really care i think both of them probably deserve a suspension you know from both sides of the story perry punk perry shouldn't have said what he did about the glass on the zero hour but at the same time it's like punk has made a career for himself by driving dro- dro- uh, dropping pipe bombs taking shots at people and now all of a sudden the last couple of years he can't take any criticism from anybody without wanting to fight and punch people and stuff and i and i understand he feels like everybody's gaining up on him which i'm sure there's some of that but also um there's a lot of guys that have his back but i really when it comes down to it i kind of blame tony khan for all of this last year there was a lot of things that led up to punk and and the bucks and the brawl out that could have been prevented if tony just set hangman page and cm punk down together in a room he and jack perry have had beef for a couple months to SRS of Fightful Select's knowledge, Tony's never sat down with either one of them. Well, now, now let me be the asshole in the group. What else is new? <laughs> You're CM Punk. You're one of the top three stars in the group. Mm-hmm. You could give two shits about Jack Perry. Now, not saying that he is not a potential future star. Okay. But he's Jack right. Perry. He is a, a, uh, Oh God. He's a little, uh, eight pound Yorkie dog nipping at your heels in your CM Punk. Yeah. So who gives if he, if he wants to come and start chirping at you, yeah. Put his ass in a chokehold and get over it. Like I'm CM Punk, you're Jack Perry. Nothing, nothing against what you've done in the past. You have a, you have the potential to be a really good professional wrestler and make a lot of money. But you need to listen to guys like CM Punk and not try to fight them. So, I, as much as I think CM Punk can be an asshole. I, I'm going to lead towards CM Punk on this one right now. That's just me. I kind of see both sides to it, but I'm just so, I'm getting so tired of Punk always in the headlines for backstage drama. And at, the, at some point it's like, there's a common denominator in all this. Yeah. It is. But could you imagine if you're sitting in gorilla and you're triple H and Let's go. Let's go. Fifteen years ago, your your Triple H and Carlito comes up and starts talking shit, dude. Triple H is going to backhand him. Yeah. And and the reason I bring up Carlito because I watched a, a thing with uh, uh, remember when Carlito was leaving with Tory Cool and Ric Flair ripped his ass for leaving that, and that was a promo. Kind kind of kind of reminds me of what I feel like Punk and Jungle Boy are going through. Yeah. Like, you need to respect what's going on here, Jack. I'm CM Punk. I've been there, done that. Yeah, I can be a prima donna bitch, but I'm still CM Punk. I'm still one of the biggest draws in this game. Got gotta 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 take a seat, bro. I feel like Punk thinks he walks on water in this company, and 
It, 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 I think, honestly, God, if it was any other person on the roster except CM Punk, I think they're gone by now. But Tony knows, you know, and, and it's also not just AEW. It's, it's, it's Warner Brothers Discovery who wanted this Saturday show surrounded by Punk or, you know, centered around Punk. Um, so Tony's in a tough spot. Um but yeah, also, yes. it's been reported that Warner's very aware of the latest ongoings. So, so I believe Punk's only got a three-year deal, but that was without injury time and suspension time tacked onto it. But I mean, does does Tony Khan have more money than Warner Brother? No. Well, well, well I mean. If he talked to Ted and he said, look, I'm going to do what Eric Bischoff did, he might have gotten a check kind of like Bischoff did. So he might have some Warner money there. But I mean, I mean his family, when we talk about Shaq. Oh, oh, OK. Nah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I, I mean, technically, Tony could just have Punk stay home, keep him under contract the whole time, still make money off merchandise and licensing and stuff. Yeah, have him do interviews or something. Now, my prediction is, I don't know how long these suspensions will be. Punk will be back. But I feel like he's just caused problems ever since he's came back. Is this strike two? Do we give yeah. him one more shot? And if he does it again, oh, yeah. all right, you're done. Go home. Especially Keep the title. I don't care. Go home. We'll see you at the end of your contract when you know we write it off. Especially when he's getting paid, which I'm I'm sure he's being very well compensated. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that and again, Tony Khan can afford to do that. So it, I mean, we, we we might never know what exactly happened. There's a lot of different sides, different reports out there. It's just kind of like brawl out last year. Don't know if we'll ever know exactly what happened, um, but it was interesting. It's been reported Brody King supposedly broke his hand. Over this, being frustrated. Mm. Mm. Suppose he punched a wall. The Brody Keen and so, Steve Punk are pretty tight. So, so okay, if nothing else, keep Punk off of all shows with all in the name. Well, I think and you're kind of on to something there because I think Tony thought, you know, if we keep Punk on Saturday nights, nothing bad is going to happen. Well, now it's proven a couple times when you have all talent under one roof for pay per views and stuff. Stuff can still happen. Well, you make if a it good rhymes point, with though. brawl, no punk. Or you make you make a good point, Tanner. If Brody King punched the wall, hurt his hand, or whatever, and he's a CM Punk, yeah, supporter, that just tells you that Jack Perry came in as a whiny bitch. And and upset the apple cart. Well, Jack probably should not have said what he said, but right, right. It's still this. I mean, like I started off this rant. Punk has made a career off saying things worse than that, and it just seems like he can't take anything anymore. Okay, so if you're a student of the game, which you would think Jack Perry is, yeah, then you should know that. And and, and maybe I'm being too old school and too hard-headed but uh, unfortunately Jack Perry hasn't done what what he what CM Punk has done for professional wrestling is what I'm trying to say. You're correct. Right, right. So, you are correct. So there's got to be a little bit of respect there instead of Jack Perry just thinking as a 25-year-old kid whatever the hell he is coming up and trying to get in the face of CM Punk. Like, you're 25 years old. CM Punk is 40-plus. Like, know your role and shut your mouth. Right? Unless or, Punk, unless like, punk well, started it after they went through the gorilla. But, my, but also, Jack Perry knew what he was doing when he said that, and he knew Punk was coming up next to start the show, so he knew there was probably going to be a confrontation. Which, which we didn't even talk about it during that. I mean... We almost had to. Yeah, they were scrambling to move matches around, of mm-hmm. which which supposedly pissed off Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe's like, "This match is huge for me," which I wouldn't want to mess with Joe. Um, Out of all people, I think Samoa Joe could screw some shit up. 
Yeah. So I was glad they at least, you know, got through it and got the match done. Um, got a comment from Kyle Miller here. He said he's thinking the two wrestling nerds they are. Punk and TK are playing 4D chess on everyone simply by telling the other uh, to do whatever they need to do to get people talking. Could be. Could be. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I will say, even though the punk news and drama gets tiring, it does get people talking about AEW. Oh, it does. It does. I mean, because so, Punk's that big of a star. He is. And it all goes back to TK. Like, if you read any of the dirt sheets, yep. any of the media, it all goes back to him. So, I'm sure the roster was probably eye rolling a little bit. Like, here we go again the other day. Cause I'm sure some of them are just sick of it. Um, cause that's one thing I know Paul and I were texting. Uh, I don't think you were involved in the text chef. Cause I think you were still watching all in and we didn't want to spoil anything for you, but we're saying, here we go again. We're going to be talking about the backstage drama instead of what was a great show. Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 When they went to the dressing room, they probably high fived and giggled like schoolgirls. <laughs> That's what Kyle Miller says on YouTube. Uh, I like Kyle's thought process yeah, right now. It could be. It could be. Uh, but uh, unless you guys have anything else you want to cover on. Uh, what are we going to call oh. this? Brawl in now? We got brawl yes. out or we got to call this brawl in? Yeah, we got brawl yes. in. That's why I said if it rhymes with brawl, keep punk off of the card. <laughs> if it's just the two of them in on it, uh, they are the two I could see. Keep it between the two of them. Mm-hmm. 